carbon is everywhere. It's in the air you breathe, the ground beneath your feet, and the food you eat. Yum. Even your own body is about 18% carbon. What? Carbon is a very important chemical for life on Earth. It gives us energy, keeps our planet warm, and provides us with fossil fuels, such as oil, gas, and coal. In nature, carbon is never created or used up. Instead, it is constantly moving from place to place in a process known as the carbon cycle. Here are just a few aspects of the carbon cycle. Rocks. Rainwater slowly wears away the top layer of rocks. Calcium and other natural chemicals from the rocks are washed into nearby rivers and out to sea. Carbon dioxide in the air reacts with calcium in the water and forms calcium carbonate. Lots of marine animals make their shells or exoskeletons out of calcium carbonate. When they die, their shells get buried in the sediment at the bottom of the ocean and form limestone. Fossil fuels. When humans burn fossil fuels, carbon dioxide, a mixture of carbon and oxygen, is released into the atmosphere. Trees use carbon dioxide to make sugar for energy. When humans eat the plants, they also eat the carbon that the plants once absorbed. Humans release some of this carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere when they breathe out, respiration, or go to the toilet, excretion. Then, when they eventually die, all of the carbon stored in their bodies is released back into the atmosphere, or is stored in the ground, decomposition. The carbon from their bodies might eventually become rocks, or sometimes turn into fossil fuels such as oil, coal, or gas. The carbon cycle and climate change. Extra carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere when humans burn fossil fuels, drive cars, fly planes, and make cement out of limestone. Too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere causes global warming. Before the Industrial Revolution, forests and oceans were able to absorb enough carbon dioxide to keep the carbon cycle under control. The more trees we cut down, the more carbon there will be in the atmosphere. Although the ocean is able to absorb a lot of carbon, this process takes thousands of years. In the meantime, the extra carbon makes the ocean more acidic and harmful to ocean life. We need to plant more trees and find cleaner sources of fuel if we want to protect our planet.